Folks, another quick update of the uh, Patel MapReduce visor plugin. Um, so I made some uh, stability changes and some built some uh, tweaks to the user interface. Uh, one of the new features is uh, a new options uh, menu item uh, that will allow you to enable or disable the uh, the visor. Uh, set the sample size for uh, for step um, uh, previewing. Uh, you can also monitor the uh, you manage the, the refresh time of uh, of the user interface and the note report delay. <coughs> that actually uh, determines how fast or how slow the the notes report back to Spoo. So if we uh, if we're going to launch this uh, this visor uh, run, we're going to see that uh, uh, the user uh, interface has changed a little bit. Um, I created a tapped interface at the bottom which will show the node information and uh, the preview data for the step so uh, you can uh, double click to collapse or, or uncollapse and if you select one of these um, uh, tabs you can see either the, the uh, node log for the transformation or if you select the step you can see the preview data of that particular step so uh, you can actually see how the data goes from one uh, uh, step to the other you know uh, up until the point where we pass off the data back to Hadoop as you can see the uh, the nodes report themselves when they are uh, available um, uh, Jake suggested in this user interface to create another tab or something extra to uh, to show some performance metrics, maybe some throughput data. Um, so that might be a good addition for a, for another release, for another improvement. Um, so this is going to run, and then at some point we'll see that uh, um, you know the Hadoop input steps are already done. So now the others are going to finish off passing the data back to Hadoop and then you will see another uh, mapper or two or three being started for the various input files uh, in that word count sample. <coughs> so I created a little bit of a bigger example because it, you know, it's easier to see what's going on if it runs a little bit longer. So now that these have been uh, pretty much done um, we'll see that the next one uh, will fire up another um, mapper which is a very slow one this is the infobrite readme file you can actually see it go from uh, their infobrite user blah 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 the same for uh, I think this is uh, some about Linux readme and this is the uh, I don't know what <laughs> and the uh, another readme file I don't know which one that one is looks like it's uh, pretty much empty and in the, in the last one uh, we'll see the reducer uh, kick off uh, where they're actually aggregating all the duplicate names what you can see is a lot of junk uh, from the uh, technical uh, data files that I put in there so you'll see a lot of uh, uh, bad data it's actually a good example anyway this is how this, uh, this, uh, this goes through the, the workflow um, I've actually uh, made it so that you can actually uh, close this uh, tab if you don't need it anymore and uh, I also created this uh, notion note at the back of the uh, tabs just to inform the user that uh, something will appear once they uh, start running <coughs> otherwise it's like an empty experience <laughs> anyway that's the state of uh, the visor at this moment. Um, seems to be holding up quite nicely. I haven't had an error in quite a while. Uh, I've had errors with Hadoop running out of memory and stuff like that, but not with the visor. So, uh, so far, so good. I'll, uh, I'll keep you informed. Take care.